The effective depth of the beam and slab is the distance between the extreme compressive concrete fiber to the centroid of tension reinforcement in the section under flexural conditions. The effective cover is the distance between the exposed concrete surface and the main reinforcement centroid. Let us calculate the effective cover and effective depth of the RCC beam. Given data. Beam depth equals 450 mm. Beam width equals 230 mm. Clear cover equals 25 mm. Diameter of stirrup bar equals 8 mm. Diameter of bottom bar equals 20 mm. Diameter of top bar equals 16 mm. Calculation 1. Effective depth. Effective depth equals beam depth minus clear cover plus diameter of stirrup bar plus half diameter of bottom bar equals 450 minus 25 plus 8 plus half times 20 equals 450 minus 43 equals 407 millimeters. 2. Effective cover. Effective cover equals beam depth minus effective depth equals 450 minus 407 equals 43 millimeters or effective cover equals clear cover plus stirrup diameter plus half diameter of bottom bar equals 25 plus 8 plus half times 20 equals 43 millimeters now let me ask you a question what will the effective cover of the beam be if the bottom rebars are double layered the effective cover will not change and will stay as shown below. In this case, the effective cover equals 43 mm. Thank you very much for watching. Please do make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button below the video. That way you aren't missing out on any of the videos I upload. Also, I would very much appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up. Thank you very much. I hope you have enjoyed th and it has gotten some way to help you. I sincerely hope you understand how to calculate the effective cover and effective depth of a simply supported beam. Thank you so much. Have a great day.